Hey boys and girls, it's Gary Dean from Tampa, Florida. I'm in Manchester, New Hampshire today working with my, my buddy uh, Justin Chevrette, Chubbs Rubs over here. Um, we're just bringing some stuff in from his uh, Ford Focus ST. Uh, we're going to do uh, the Gary Dean wash method on this 06 Ford GT. Uh, get it all nice and clean and prepped for some polishing. Uh, most of the car has clear film on it and we are going to go ahead and polish that as if it were paint to see if we can get it to shine up and look better. Generally you can. Um, this vehicle was in an accident in the rear uh, and then in the front but it's been all repaired. Clear coat failure here on this side. It's not this piece, it's this piece. So, and it's all down in there. Um, you got a little bit of chipping here. No big deal. Hand polish that area. The wheels, you can see they're pretty, pretty filthy. Calipers are pretty bad. See the line for the clear film. Uh, it's relatively new on all of this side. You can see where that is. Got 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 some residue in there. I got to get all that crap out of there. I hate that. The other guy's wax. Nasty wheels. Um, takes two people to pop the clamshell but I'll show you the engine in a minute Got some seals that aren't quite right but other than that car looks awesome go over the paint with the uh, light with you in just a minute there's a little bit of an issue with it sticking right there but Needs to uh, be adjusted, I guess. Anyway, 06 Ford GT. Say hi, Justin. What's going on, guys? Or you should have just said hi, Justin. <laughs> uh, what are we going to do today? We're going to polish a Ford GT. You excited about I that? I'm very excited. This is, yeah. this is on my, my to-do list to polish. Your bucket a, list? A bucket list to polish a very expensive supercar. Well, let me just tell you, extra care is needed. However... It's just another car. Yep. Yeah, when I go into polishing something like this, I definitely take extra care. Usually on these supercars, there's extra nooks and crannies and valleys and you know all that kind of stuff that you need to watch out for. Um, but I would say that the number one thing to remember if you're somebody new getting into this, it's it's just another car. You got to do all the same prep work. You got to do all the same testing, everything. Uh, fortunately, with uh, my products from DetailJuice.com, I take all the guesswork out of it for you. Infinite cut and infinite finish should do the, do the trick. Uh, and then, you know, the, uh, the rest of the lineup. Hey, would you do me a favor and grab the other side of this clamshell so we can lift up? I can show them the... Uh, I can't get, I got short fat fingers, there we go. So, uh, the owner has uh, requested that we clean up this engine bay a little bit. Um, definitely is not bad, they're having some work done on the throttle body. Uh, it's a sweet Whipple supercharger. Yeah, we might throw some chrome cream down, see what we could do. Chrome cream, boom baby. So we're going to be tidying up the engine bay, cleaning up the chrome. Uh, we'll also clean and condition the interior. So uh, he uh, specifically requested that we uh, make his windows immaculate. So pretty important. I hate windows. You like doing windows? I absolutely hate windows. <laughs> All right. 
So anyway, you've seen the car, you've seen what's up. I'll come back with you when we're uh, when we've got it prepped. We're gonna do the Gary Dean wash method with the infinite use detail juice. Uh, we're gonna get everything cleaned and clay barred, and then clean the wheels, that kind of thing. Get it prepped. Um, I'm gonna tape up the trim and stuff like that, and then when all of that is done, I'll come back and we'll inspect the paint. Um, I will probably also section off this uh, fender here and do a test spot or two so you can see what's going on. But that's where we're at, so we'll be right back. All right, this is one of my ultra fine Japanese clay bars from detailjuice.com. See how heavily contaminated this car is? It's supposed to look like that. This is from doing just this top section of the door. So, um, I did also notice what looks to be a dent right there. Right there. So, just want to document that. Boom. All right, so I couldn't wait any longer. I was in the middle of cleaning the wheels. You see how nasty these wheels are? I was in the middle of cleaning the wheels. I got these two done over here with uh, the Gary Dean wash method rinseless situation. Basically what I do is I use the, the rest of the water. So if you put a gallon of water in the bucket and then you're pre-soaking your towels and you're using your regular colored towels on the paint, whenever you get the paint done, um, I pull all the towel, the rest of whatever's left in the bucket out and I use one black towel to clean all the wheels. It actually works very well, you can see super duper clean I did this uh, the rinseless way I cleaned the wheels the tires the calipers everything it's good boom anyway so I couldn't wait I just had to pick up a polisher and get get rolling um, obviously we're using uh, infinite cut and infinite finish oh, leaky leaky uh, infinite finish infinite cut because um, that's all I use these days and so I tried the Buff and Shine Maroon Pad with the Harbor Freight DA and Infinite Finish and it did a great job and left an awesome finish but there were still some defects I needed to get out so I used the same Maroon Pad and Infinite Cut and it did a fantastic job. I'll show you it looked like this before. And keep in mind the haze is because I haven't finished it with infinite finish. But you can you can see that there's no defects. Went from that. Water spotted and defect city to no defects to speak of. Definitely not a clear finish yet. I haven't finished it, like I said. Um, this paint is the original paint. Uh, whereas the rest of the car on around is aftermarket paint. So this paint is pretty soft So I'm probably gonna have to use the red Buff and shine low pro applicator pad with infinite uh, Finish to make that look amazing uh, So anyway, that's where I'm at right now is I just did that 50 50 test and uh, Looks good. I'm gonna do another test the same exact test on that uh, fender over there just to test the uh, aftermarket paint and see what we're dealing with but that's where I'm at uh, I'm gonna do the other test now and then I'm gonna come back uh, finish the wheels and then move on to the paint correction while Chubbs over there is uh, detailing the engine bay let's go on guys so just clean up this engine bay uh, customer wanted done I uh, gotta do some polishing on the chrome parts here. Probably use infinite finish. Um, yeah, this is almost done. Just going over quickly, making sure I didn't miss any areas. Sweet, good deal. All right, back to work. We got Chubbs over here rubbing like he does, doing what he does best. And I'm over here, see I, did that last segment and I said I was going to do the wheels. I still haven't done these two wheels. I got all up in the polishing. 
I want to show you something pretty cool though. Uh, a lot of guys don't realize that you can actually polish paint protective film just like you can paint. Um, it is generally uh, a little on the softer side because it's plastic, uh, which is basically uh, what a uh, clear coat is a derivative of. But um, you notice that this one is all, this part of the hood or the front bumper is all scratched up. Well, I compounded this side. And you notice how nice and crisp and clear it is. Uh, I compounded it twice, and I believe that what is left is underneath the clear film, which obviously I can't get to. But that just goes to show you that you can absolutely polish clear film uh, just like paint and remove swirls and scratches from it to improve the way it looks. Also, uh, if the yellowing is on the exterior, which it generally is from the debris and the road grime and whatever hitting it, uh, and it's sticking because the uh, film gets soft, um, you are also going to be removing the exterior yellowing. So, polish your clear film and it can look better. Boom, baby. Time to get back to work. So, we've uh, been working hard and we just had lunch. When you're out in the middle of nowhere in uh, Manchester, New Hampshire, I'm sorry, we're in Auburn, New Hampshire. You eat Chef Boyardee. That's, what, that's how we roll around here. Had to bring this stuff. Had a little uh, lasagna and some uh, raviolis. Lasagna. Um, so I've got almost half the car compounded at this point. All the wheels are nice and clean. Boom, baby. What do you know about that rinseless wash method? The Gary Dean way. That's how we roll around here. That's what we do. Um, I got Chubb's rubs over here on the ones and twos. He actually is uh, currently working on the interior. I put him on the jobs I don't want to do. <laughs> No, he's, uh, he actually just went over this engine bay very, very well. He hand polished that uh, Whipple supercharger. Um, also hand polished the valve cover chrome. And just did a general deep clean on all of the frame and suspension. Uh, we also cleaned underneath of the... Uh, What's this called? The clamshell? Yeah. Uh, yeah, that, and then uh, clean the window. Did you get this uh, window clean? Yeah. Nice, because you know he's going to complain. Nobody got time for that. No. Um, so anyway, I, you missed the spot? Look. I'm just joking. Yeah. It's on the inside. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, so I'm about to close the clamshell. So I can finish uh, compounding and polishing. Um, I have that side of the hood, the fender and the door to do to compound and then I'll be on the whole rear end. So, anything to say? No, not really. Well good, we don't want to talk to you anyway. Well, yeah, I know. <laughs> All right, I just got done polishing the car with infinite finish in the maroon buff and shine low pro pad with the Harbor Freight EA. And as you can see, it looks absolutely stunning. I got uh, Justin over here wiping it down. I was doing the polishing and then he was wiping the panel, wiping the polish off, off the panel. So he's just making sure we got all the polish off the car. Uh, Infinite Finish has a priming catalyst uh, for Juice Boost, Vitality Shield, and Infinite Diamond Shield from DetailJuice.com, we will be applying Vitality Shield, I'm sorry, we will be applying Infinite Diamond Shield to this car momentarily. I mean, this thing is just dead sexy.
I love this car. It's amazing. Uh, this is, uh, I believe, my seventh Ford GT that I have corrected in my time. So the paint looks pretty amazing. How's the paint look under the light? Pretty good. Yeah, I'd say that looks pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> Not a swirl in sight. That's how we do it, right? Yes, sir. And the gloss is on point for sure. We use uh, only my products around here from uh, DetailJuice.com. Infinite cut, infinite finish. Uh, we're about to apply infinite diamond shield. It's a silica-based nano glass coating. It is the best of three uh, protectants in my line. Transform dressing, dress the tires with that. Infinite Purpose Cleaner, that's what I clean the wheels with. Uh, we did not use Magnum Motorcycle Juice today, however, it's fantastic. Uh, use some chrome cream a little bit. Some juice boost over here. You can use it. Well, actually, uh, you juice boost the wheels, didn't you? Yeah. So we did uh, Juice Boost on the wheels, and uh, we're using the Buff and Shine Low Pro pads that you see on the floor. I'm not sure why they're on the floor, but they're, they're on, on the plastic. floor. Huh? They're on plastic. Uh-huh. Some infinite use detail juice all mixed up. So we are on the home stretch. I showed you the engine bay is all cleaned up. We hand polished that Whipple supercharger. And as far as the interior goes, it's all cleaned and wiped down. This thing's got 10,000 miles on it. It smells brand new in there. So, all right, we're gonna get started with the IDS application and uh, call it a day. All right, boys and girls, this is it. 2006 Ford GT. These are all the products we used for this detail job. Juice Boost, Infinite Finish, Infinite Cut, Infinite Use Detail Juice, Infinite Purpose Cleaner, Transform Dressing on the tires, and then we coated with Infinite Diamond Shield. Boom, baby. Looks amazing. Wheels, barrels, calipers, lug nut holes, everything detailed properly. All right, so if you need your car detailed, yes, I will travel. Call me on my cell, 813-846-4406. Detailjuice.com is my product line site, and that's actually the main site that I use. Also check out Gary Dean's Detail Juice Nation. It's our group on Facebook. If you want to be a part of, of something bigger than detailing, send us a request. We'll let you in the group, talk about Detailjuice.com products. And that's pretty much it. So thank you so much for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you guys that take the time to watch my videos. I know that they can be long. Also, uh, if you're in the Manchester, New Hampshire area, check out Justin Chevrette. Chubbs Rubs is the uh, name of his detailing business. He does a great job. And uh, he is definitely a rising star in the detailing scene for sure. Uh, he uses only my products, which we feel is the best case scenario. So if you got any questions, give me a call or send me a text message.
or find me on Facebook, 813-846-4406. Thanks again. Chubbs, you got anything to say? Products are amazing. Speak for yourself. Thanks again, guys, for watching. I appreciate you guys. Have a great day. Oh, you want to give them, you should give them your phone number. I just told them uh, who you were and that they should contact you. But if you're in the Manchester, New Hampshire area, you can reach me at 603 657 8669. Yeah, check him out. He definitely has, has my, uh, my approval. Uh, my vote of confidence and I would trust him to work on my personal vehicles for sure. So anyway, thanks.